All right, once again, we're going to do a shopping video. We're dedicating this to the food shortage. Where are we going today? Drum roll, please. Brrr, ching, Lido. See y'all on this side. Alright, so we're walking into this smorgasbord of wonderfulness. I came in here to get some things that they don't have apparently. Which are oranges. They don't have any limes, cantaloupes, blah 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 blah. Empty spaces, empty spaces. That's going to be my song for y'all. Empty spaces. Saving graces. We are going to get a few pineapples at $1.89. Da, 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 da. Pineapples are getting smaller, I'm noticing. All right, let's see if we have any oranges on this side. I don't see any. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. At least they do have some avocados. I'm thinking about getting some guac while I'm in here too. Cucumbers. What is this? Oh, mixed lettuce, celery, very little broccoli. Okay. Leafy greens. Tomatoes. Pumpkins, of course. If you're gonna get bell peppers, use these right here. Leave those alone. Sweet potatoes, you should be eating one of those every day if you have blood sugar problems. Alright, let's roll. They don't have what I'm looking for. I need some oranges. And they don't have any. So the organic aisle section. Yum yum. Let's go to the morgue and check it out. In honor of my good friend. <laughs> Grim survival. Let's see what bacon prices are. All right, so we got okay, silicate. So we don't eat bacon, so of course I'm just looking. Beef, looking kind of bare. We got plenty of ground beef though. Cheeses. Ground beef. Other meats. Chicken. There's the prices of chicken. As you can notice, I'm getting through this really quick because this is a this is a quick drive-by for, for this video. Okay. I'm looking to see if they have some, they got hummus, but guess what they don't have? Or guess what I don't see? The other thing I came in here for, which was, oh, I know, see, pumpkin spice hummus. Oh, that's interesting. I would like some guacamole, but it's normally right in this area. Oh, here's some more bacon, y'all. Uncured bacon, $6.99 for 18 ounces. Okay, no guacamole for me today, apparently. Mm, almond milk, $1.69. Okay, that seems like that's a decent price. Eggs, Eggland Best. And then regular eggs, $0.98 cents a dozen. Yep. Extra large, $1.09. And milk. So, frozen stuff, frozen stuff, frozen stuff. Special offer. What does that mean? Nothing. Alrighty. Do -do -do -do. Frozen veggies. Actually, it looks pretty good. Potatoes, there's a 
open space. What was that? Seasoned diced potatoes, 99 cents. No more in there. I guess they were so delicious. Everybody bought them up. Frozen blueberries are gone. All right. Ice cream, just say no. Just say no, Roderick, just say no. You're always gonna have spirits. I don't care what anybody says, you'll always be able to get your brain messed up. All right, y'all see that? Plenty of that stuff all the time. Every store I'm going to, plenty, plenty, plenty. Uh, sugar and flour. And my friend Christina was like, make sure you find some evaporated milk. And there it is. And it's 69 cents a can. Stuffing. Yuck, yuck. Gotta to do too many doctoring with that. Alright, oh, snacks, of course. Little Debbie's used to be my weakness. Oreos definitely used to be my weakness. Still like Ritz. <laughs> And for some reason, I like these things by themselves now. Just saltine crackers. Oh my goodness. I can't find the canned goods, y'all. I can't find the canned goods. Where are the canned goods? Lighter fluid. Lighters. Okay. You never have too many. Prep item. I think when I come across the prep items, I'm just going to say prep item. How about that? Then you guys will know what I'm talking about. Wow. Ad deal. One ninety-five. Wait a minute, that's like 75 cents, 79 cents for avocados? That's exactly what it says. So y'all know I gotta get some of those, right? Let's see here, we have what kind of razors? Oh man. Oh, they got my degree? Oh, this is actually what I use. Two forty-seven. I don't know if that's overpriced or not. I usually buy a two-pack. And I stock up when I buy deodorant. Prep item, never can have too many, okay? You can always use baking soda in a pinch to brush your teeth. Y'all do understand that, right? So prep item, two brush, two brush, two brush. Ah, we found the canned goods, y'all. I think today we're gonna get us some, some peaches. I didn't bring a bag with me. In this place, they don't either have to buy bags or bring your bag in, so. I think we're going to get us a couple few cans of these. These are things that I like to eat, okay? So don't judge me. But remember, this channel is a no judge channel. So keep that in mind. Pasta. Let's see what the rice is costing. There's no price on it, it's free. All right, so two bucks for jasmine rice. Uh, 32 ounces of pinto beans for $1.45. Tuna in water, 66 cents a can. That is much cheaper than I paid for last night. Um, so, prep item. Uh, empty shelf coming up. Bam. Okay, what is this down here? Ravioli, 59 cents a can. Pork and beans, 35 cents a can. Okay? So that's a really good price for pork and beans, even though it's a smaller can. Uh, I don't know what the shelf life of this is. But I would say this would be a good thing to have in your preps, especially if you're in a pinch and you're eating beans and rice every day. That'd be a really nice prep item just to change the taste of something. And I'm assuming it lasts a long time. I don't know how long it's going to last, but it should last you a good little while. All right, so 44 cents a can for French cut green beans. Uh, 49 cents a can for corn. Green beans, gabanza beans, yum yum. So I hardly ever show you guys what's up here. Free refried beans. Oh wow. We'll try a couple cans of these, see what they taste like. I never tried this brand, so we'll try them. And that's gonna be about all we can get today. And remember, I teach you just on five bucks a week to replenish your stock and keep some things in your pantry. 
All right? And grow some food. Learn to grow some food, y'all. Learn to grow food, grow food, grow food. Because guess what you're going to do? You're going to eat food, eat food, eat food. All right. So I'll see you guys on the outside. Hi, I'm Christina. And you are watching Plant-Based Homestead Prepper. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, I wanted to show another little section that I love, which is the salsa. 89, 89, $1.99. And the cheese dips, uh, two bucks a jar. Bird food, flour and per, uh, sugar. I think I showed you guys that already. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, vanilla extract and more vanilla extract all right your seasons always a good okay prep item prep item prep item salt 35 cents a container that's really cheap so at the shtf that's going to be a prep item that you're going to wish you had more of all right another good prep item so Okay, let's check out and get out. Welcome to Plant-Based Homestead Prepper. I am Grim from Grim Survival, where we talk about SHTF scenarios, food shortages, things I see while driving this thing, and solar minimums, among many other things. But back to your regular scheduled program. Cue the intro. Bonus material, prep items. <laughs> you can't ever have too many of these bags. You can always use these bags for several reasons, okay? And I'm gonna grab some. I mean, I find I can I can think of like several reasons you can use these. Okie dokie. I'm just making one one last pass because I'm about to get out of here. I want to thank you guys for watching and thank you for being here. Oh, prep item. Okay, good for feminine hygiene and great for what? What is that good for? For bleeding. You can use it as a bandage in a pinch. All right, so here, if you want some soap, you better come up in here and get some. What is all oh man? What does that mean? We got soap that discriminate now? It smells funny. Oh, that's the name of the brand, all oh man. Okay. Hydro gel, I don't know what that means. They even have their own shaving cream. All oh man shaving cream. So, Walmart may be going through a soap depression, but not Lidl. Lidl has soap, y'all. <laughs> so rush over here and get you a bar. <laughs> Welcome to Plant-Based Homestead Prepper. I am Grim from Grim Survival, where we talk about SHTF scenarios, food shortages, things I see while driving this thing, and solar minimums, among many other things. But Back to your regular scheduled program. Cue the intro. Bonus material, prep items. <laughs> you can't ever have too many of these bags. You can always use these bags for several reasons. Okay. And I'm gonna grab some. I mean, I find I can I can think of like several reasons you can use these. Okie dokie. I'm just making one one last pass. Cause I'm about to get out of here. I want to thank you guys for watching, and thank you for being here. Oh, prep item, okay? Good for feminine hygiene and great for what? What is that good for? For bleeding. You can use it as a bandage in a pinch. All right. So here, if you want some soap, you better come up in here and get some. What is all oh, man? What does that mean? We got soap that discriminate now. Smells funny. Oh, that's the name of the brand. Oh man, okay. Hydro gel. I don't know what that means. They even have their own shaving cream. Oh man, shaving cream. So, Walmart may be going through a soap depression, but not Lidl. Lidl has soap, y'all. <laughs> so rush over here and get you a bar. 
subscribe to our channel. Bye. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe to our channel. Say it again. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> All right, so we are leaving out of Lidl. This is what our basket looks like. And like we always teach or try to teach, you know, five, 10 bucks a week. Just consistently doing it. Keep getting your food preps up during this food shortage. And November, if you're watching, thank you so much. Uh, your mother, if you're watching, thank you so much. Haha, <laughs> see you guys next time. Take care.